Creamy Tuscan chicken is one of my favorite meals to eat and to make, so let me show you how to make it. I like to start off by butterflying my chicken and then seasoning it with some salt, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, some paprika, some oregano, and a bit of black pepper as well. I'm just measuring with the heart with this one. From here, I'm just gonna heat a pan with some sun-dried tomato oil. This is really what's gonna start building those flavors for us. And then just a drizzle of olive oil as well. Once that comes up to heat, we're gonna go ahead and lay down our chicken and sear on both sides. While our chicken's cooking, let's go ahead and prep our veggies. This recipe has really simple ingredients. We're just gonna split some cherry tomatoes in half and then cut one whole shallot or a half of an onion, whatever you have on hand, and crush a few cloves of garlic as well. We're also going to need an entire bag of spinach for this recipe and don't forget to wash your veggies. Once our chicken has nice color on both sides, we're gonna remove that from the pan and toss in our shallots as well as our garlic. Go ahead and let these cook for about three to five minutes until they get nice and aromatic. For a fun addition, I like to add some mushrooms to this dish. They lend themselves really well to the tomatoes and the wine. Speaking of wine, we're going to deglaze the bottom of our pan with some dry white wine before tossing in our cherry tomatoes. And I like to add some of those chopped sun-dried tomatoes as well. Totally optional, but I like to add in some red pepper flakes at this point, as well as a little bit more oregano before pouring in about a cup and a half of heavy cream. Go ahead and let this simmer and let all the flavors get to know each other before tossing in your spinach. I made a mistake and put my chicken back in at the pan at this point, and as you can see, I took it out. So just toss in your spinach first, let those get to know each other, let the spinach wilt down a little bit, add in some Parmesan cheese, and then we're gonna tuck our chicken back into the sauce. Once you get your chicken nestled back in, we're gonna let this cook for another five to 10 minutes, either on the stove top or in the oven and let the sauce get nice and thick and creamy. We're gonna squeeze some lemon over top to brighten up the dish and then serve with some mashed potatoes or polenta or rice, but you cannot skip the crusty bread to soak up all of that sauce. I hope you enjoy.